we welcome you in an unconventional football Friday. Unconventional in a lot of ways. First, of course, because this week was drastically impacted by Hurricane Irma. Only a handful of games remained on the schedule this week. Many were rescheduled. Others were canceled. But there is a benefit. We can really dig into the games that were played tonight, including a game that was not only the game of the week, but it might have been the game of the year. And that game is a matchup of, uh, for the first time in a generation, Bulls against Trinity Christian between the 18 state titles. Haven't faced each other since 2000. But on the first offensive play of the game, the Conquerors with the ball at their own 25. And Tyreek Johnson, the five-star recruit, takes it the distance. Free sailing down the sideline, 75 yards. And just like that, it's 7-0 Trinity. But Bulls would answer with a nine-play, 80-yard drive. James Omler goes left for the touchdown, 14 yards. It's tied at seven after a quarter. Second quarter, Bulls drives deep into Conquerors territory, attempting a field goal, but it's Johnson with a big play. Blocks the field goal. Jalen Fowler scoops it up, and he is headed the other way. He has clear sailing to the end zone. It's 13-7 to after they miss the extra point. Conquerors with the lead. The ensuing Bulls possession now. Bad exchange on the snap. The ball is on the ground. The Conquerors recover, and they're deep in Bulldogs territory, and Trinity would cash in. Marcus Crowley, who had a big day tonight, Weaves it up the middle, dives for the goal line, and he's in. Trinity up 20-7. to seven. Looks like they may run away at that point. Last play of the half, Bowles with a Hail Mary. Josiah Johnson lets it fly, and Kel McLeod, watch this. Between two defenders, pulls it in for the touchdown on an untimed play, and at halftime, it's 20-14. to 14. Fourth quarter, Conquerors put it away, scoring twice. Austin Thomas with a fake. He walks it in for the score. Conquerors up 31, 33, 21. At that point, they would win it 40 to 28. It's the first district loss for Bulls to anyone except Reigns since George Bush Sr. was president. Got to go back to 1992. It's the start of a fantastic rivalry between those two schools. They both made the move up to the state 5A classification. That's because the change in the way that the postseason is going to be handled in the playoffs, both schools wanted to have an easier time scheduling. So Trinity jumps up from 3A to 5A, Bowles from 4A to 5A, and for the first time since 2000, those two teams met tonight. Let me tell you, I was out there calling the game on radio. Uh, what a wonderful atmosphere. It was jam-packed at Trinity Christian. There were coaches from all over the place. Saw Mark Brunel out there. Uh, a lot of fans who just wanted to see some high school football. And maybe because it happened in the week of Irma, it gave everybody a little bit of a break. Super entertaining game. Congratulations to Trinity Christian. Those two teams could see each other again in the playoffs. Still a long way to go, but it's the start of a, uh, a terrific district rivalry, maybe the rekindling of a rivalry that uh, went by the wayside back in 2000.